Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. Um, in this video, I want to talk about this center, Skype, the Skype for Business Admin Center. Uh, if you, if we go, um, my Skype is still, you see, it's kind of still pretty messed up. Um, so Microsoft really is trying hard to. Hmm, push uh, a portal uh, teams in out so uh, if you go to your admin center who is this I it can, it's kind of small okay whiteboard and you see admin and sway no Skype here Yammer is there so people teams right there so the customizable chat based team workspace right so um, in you have like chat rooms team chat rooms in Skype but that's like open it's not like meetings where uh, <coughs> uh, you can actually have uh, like people logging in from different remote locations and you can see them uh, on the video but we don't do that we just do the chat so if we go ahead there here it says show all we see the admin center and nothing is there even if I click all admin center it's not there so basically what happened is while I was searching I stumbled upon on this page and if I go back I was searching Skype for business admin center so I searched that then I went to this page and from here I don't know where I clicked uh, but I went here so from here I saw this Skype logo so that caught my eye and I saw what it is Skype legacy portal and all that so it, basically what I'm trying to say is it's not there it's really um deep down stashed and you have to really find it so basically once i saw the logo it caught my attention i read this line and i went to teams because it's in team center so once i was in teams um microsoft 365 admin center so over here it says go to the skype admin center so once i click on that It took me the admin teams probably and it was somewhere here legacy portal and you have to sign into it I think that's what happened yes so that's how you get to the Skype for business admin center from this uh, no this one legacy portal so this is the thing you see <clears throat> through a trial and error I am finally in so this is the sky for business admin center uh, you see it's really hidden you have to um, like work really hard to get to it in still um, it's going away very soon so let's go to again I'm gonna show you uh, clean first you have to go to the teams in teams you see it's I'm gonna poke around in teams as well and learn and then make a video about that but right now we have to go to the legacy portal about Skype sign in with your um, admin username password and you have Skype for business admin center so when I was like you know just clicking and going through I saw a few things that are in Skype but they will be removed very soon uh, the reason I had that other page up is there was some oh yes I'm gonna get to that later on so this is the user statistics how many business online users I, I think that's about right uh, five users have the uh, uh, office licenses and that's why it's showing five user in cloud two and you know it's giving you little tidbits the really the thing we want to see is Ellie oh yes three to five so five users are able to do the um, <coughs> uh, Skype thing 
so you see there's a pen icon uh, pencil icon we can add it a user so the options are so you can uh, add it for any user the option is the what feature we want this user to have so this user either can oh, okay he can i cannot do any audio or video calls he can only do the chatting the other one is audio only audio and video but that is sd video and the law finally audio and hd video so we're gonna leave it to the default <coughs> so the other one is record conversation and meetings this one is is very important basically <coughs> um, like uh, email messages chat messages uh, if you are in customer service or all that where you are interacting with people <coughs> and you have to you know it's policy procedures uh, for especially financial institutes so you have to you want to have those copies of all the conversation and this audio or video is part of that conversation they can say hey your uh, that per that person or your flaw is XYZ agent told me this so um, this is good so you want to copy and you know and you can see and uh, view what exactly um, was said um, if you remember the video when we made that uh, uh, customer assistant um, um, thing uh, it basically captures everything you have done on their computer so exactly the same thing you want to have a copy so this is if if you are in a sensitive or customer service like and some people they get all kind of ideas so if you have a copy it's very good you can say hey yeah we have saved that uh, we have a copy so we know what was we will review what was said or you know uh, was promised <coughs> So for compliance, turn off non-archive feature. Like what can't be archived, just turn them off. It's like for, again for the compliance thing. So we can cancel this. And the next one is <coughs> external options. External options is like um, in our company, it's so huge. We can only search the user that are in the company it's not like somebody can there's an option can they uh, um, talk to p users that they in their organization they use the skype for business as well and can your users talk to them if it's checked yes they can for example you work at uh, i work at charter and then there's somebody who works in for, let's say Macy's and they my that user uh, uses the like in that organization they use Skype for business as well so I can add them so it sees and checks <coughs> and only a uh, Skype for business users and uh, f um, you know if you have a vendor that provide you something and they have it so it's for them this one is external Skype user that is the Skype the normal Skype uh, you want you add your aunt and uncle and your uh, distant cousin and now while you're at work you can receive their messages as well so these are options for that the final one is audio conferencing so conferencing call is oh they have like provider so conference call is that uh, in a conference room they have a device that sits in the middle and you know uh, you are in this room for example you are in Columbus Ohio the other office is in New York City and the third office is in um, West Coast California so what happens is uh, if they all need to be joined one meeting they they don't want you to fly to that you know uh, you uh, everybody who needs to be in that conference or whatever they go and sit in that room in their rooms and then through the service provider you see uh, they get the conference call so like whoever is uh, present in one of those room can hear whoever speaks in either of in any of the room so this is the conferencing so this uh, these are all the options like they can do through the skype as well like they can do the video conferencing if you have seen the conference rooms where there is a big tv 
on one wall. So basically what happens is that uh, if it's um, in one room you are every you are uh, you are there physically and the other rooms video is on the TV so this is with the sky but uh, as I said Microsoft is really phasing it out so if I click on Aslan uh, you see all the options here external communication and directory status in cloud and all that so this is same for everybody all the uh, the options I'm gonna uh, wrap this video here and go through them in a different one because I want to keep the video short all right so if this video has helped you please write um, please subscribe share comment and rate and you have a good night